Back to Chief Meteorologist uh, Natasha Stenbach now. And you have a beautiful picture up. Yes, I'm showing you the Grand Canyon because the last time I played golf, this is where the ball ended up, <laughs> right over there. Yeah, that game is a frustrating game. Uh, Grand Canyon National Park. Uh, a lot of you are probably traveling this summer. Just wanted to bring a little piece of Arizona to you. The temperature there right now is 86 degrees, and that's about the same temperature we're expecting Saturday. Sunday might be a little bit toastier. Portland, well... Huh, guess that camera's not working. <laughs> 74 degrees. Over to Mount Hood Meadows, it's 55. Let's go to Stoller Winery at 77. Look at that. Mostly sunny skies. Lincoln City, 68. You can see just how windy it is right there. Uh, wind here coming out of the northwest at about 18 to 20 miles per hour. What a pretty picture it is. Everyone just soaking up the sun today, and you will certainly be all the way through this weekend. Wind is also a major consideration, especially east of the Cascades. So we have a stronger onshore flow. And for the valley, that means winds coming out of the north northwest between 10 to 15 miles per hour. Lincoln City there, we're seeing wind gusts up to about 26, Newport 25. Uh, Mount Hood up to 20 miles per hour. The Dalles, that's been the place for the strongest wind so far today, getting gusts up to about 37 to almost 40 miles per hour. Uh, due for 34. And then you notice out towards uh, Woodland and Ridgefield up to just about 11. But a nice, cool feeling kind of breeze for us. That's going to keep our temperatures uh, below normal today. But never mind the temperature. We're windy and dry, as you can see right here at Lower Columbia Basin. Red flag warning in effect until 9 o'clock tonight. Low relative humidity in the teens and low 20s. Satellite and radar imagery showing us, yeah, high pressure is already kind of taking over, and it really will so, um, really will more so this weekend. Uh, look at all this nice clearing here. Now, what this means for you through the weekend is this temperatures are really going to jump up, and it still will remain fairly dry. That, that high humidity that we felt a few days ago, that's not going to be part of the picture this time around. Check, checking out those uh, wind speeds, though, through Friday and this weekend, we expect, uh, again, wind mostly from the north-northwest, a little bit of a shift here and there. But overall, your wind speeds won't be so much of a factor this weekend. It's just today. Now, as we take a look at the overall pattern here, you can see this big ridge of high pressure tries to take over. And as it does, it keeps us nice and clear and also will be warming us up. So you probably see more red flag warnings scattered about uh, just west of the Rockies there. Forecast for the rest of this week. Again, there you go. There's more proof. Uh, maybe a few passing clouds over the weekend on Sunday. Monday still clear. Tuesday, next area of low pressure tries to squeeze in, but uh, not going to be successful likely. Temperatures tomorrow at the coast, upper 60s to low 70s tomorrow inland. Close to 80 degrees. And Madras Bend, upper 70s. Hood River, 78. Here's your seven-day forecast. There we go. Saturday and Sunday. We, Sunday, we might get close to that 90 degree mark. Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday, very comfortable temperatures in the low 80s. Yeah. Well, you know, it sure is a change, but one we're looking forward to. Yes. Thanks. Thanks.